Okay, guys, welcome to Minecraft. This is an, um, a new mod we're doing. It's called A New Beginning. It's by um, Read Game Studios. We're going to get started here. That was the, the test world I did a little bit. So we're going to start a brand new world. We're going to call this Lost Earth. And we're going to go ahead and start this. Uh, this mod was just had a new update for version 1.4.3. Uh, and that was on, <clears throat> excuse me, September 26th, 2015. Um, I have not seen much of this game um, on YouTube or any of the other things. I haven't really seen it. Um, so we start here. We're in this little glass house out above a barren desert. And I mean barren. And then there's this section over here with these funky blocks. It's like this in all of them. I don't really understand what that is all about, but we will hopefully find out. So start the game. We'll go here. This is a hard, hardcore quest mode um, pack. Duh, duh, duh. So we're gonna be found with okay. A new beginning is a hardcore quest pack. Is focused on more hardcore realistic Minecraft experience. So let's get right in here. Uh, learning the Minecraft. Um, so getting wood. So the first thing, basically, we got to go punch wood. Okay, so, well, now what do we do? There's no wood in here. How do we get out of here? Well, it took me a little bit to figure it out since I've never played this mod before. I didn't really know. These are all glowstone, but this is an elevator. So you basically stand on this, and you either hit shift or space bar. Shift takes you down, space bar takes you up. So right now it is night. You see the sun is setting. So we don't probably want to go outside. So we'll just do some exploring in here. So you come downstairs, which we're downstairs now, and we have a chest and some pressure plates that open the door outside. So let's look in our chest. So we have a new beginning book, another quest book, five trees and some bones. So let's only take two of our trees right now and let's take yep we opened our inventory so we got little fireworks yay Woo! fun okay gonna make oh let's make half of that into bone meal which gives us more than we'll need um and we can put the others back actually we don't need all of that we'll just put that there um, let's look at this other book too. Let's see. Uh, okay. You must survive. Can you recreate the world? You notice you are in a plains biome, but unlike any you have seen before, there is sand everywhere in this world. Where are you? How did you get here? How do you get home? It is time to start a new beginning. Okay. That's it for that book. Okay, good. So we're in the middle of nowhere. We're in BFE. And quite literally so I don't really see any mobs and I'll kill you with a tree if you're out here so hmm so we have water and we have two trees yay we have two trees yay and our house floats above the other thing okay um <clears throat> So we need wood. That's the first part. So let's get some wood. And we will beat some wood. Punch our head against it. Okay. Hey, we got one piece. Two pieces. More fireworks. Gonna call the cops. Neighbors don't like fireworks. Okay. And this does not have the quick leaf dissolve mod. That sucks. Okay. Oh. We'll plant that other tree there. Oh, we only got three. We needed four, didn't we? Yes, we needed four. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So. Let's go hit this tree. Now we got our four. All right, so we get an axe, water bottles, and a camel pack. So let's get those. 
And that opened up the tinkers or the crafting hook. The crook, crook, whatever you want to call it. Hey, we got a tree. So we got our tree back, which is good. Okay, so uh, first things first, let's put our camel back on. And let's go throw some of these water bottles in here. I don't need all these water bottles. They're just taking up my space. I'll keep one water bottle. And I only need one tree. And first thing we need is a workbench. So let's just take all that wood, get our workbench. And since it's Tinkers, yay. Since it's Tinkers, you just take your crafting table, put it back up in there, and you get your crafting station. Um, so because I don't know if mobs are going to come here, we'll build all this stuff in here. Um, so we need a crook, which my understanding is you take four sticks and you put them in an upside down L. So we got a crook. So we take this now. This is what we use to harvest our leaves. And they're supposed to give a better chance to get stuff. Oh, there was my fourth piece of wood. I didn't need to take that tree out. Okay. Oh, well. So we're looking for or we're hoping to get a silkworm with this so we can make string um that is one of the like key things in this pack to start is string and why is to make a sifter so we can sift soil and the like so we can get um minerals because from my understanding there are no like you can't go in the underground and get minerals. You have to get everything from sifting stones and stuff. And that's pretty much, I mean, I don't know. Do they have botanical in here? Um, why isn't it searching? Um, huh. Uh, there's a lot of packs in this one. Um, uh, biomes of plenty. Let me see here. Um, hmm. There's the bee thing. don't think they have the essence they have the do we have a turtle we can do a turtle Ooh, they have a mining turtle farming turtle yes we have the turtles awesome so there might be um, minerals here I'm not sure we'll find out but we did get a silkworm so that's good we got a silkworm on our first tree so this lumber axe actually does if I'm correct it does three logs at once so that's a good plus I think I got everything and we'll plant another tree this is where you need the bone meal to start because we're gonna bone meal the crap out of these to start now, if you've noticed, there aren't any mobs right now. I don't know if that's going to change. Um, we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Well, there's an Enderman, so there are mobs. They're just not spawning near us. And then it's almost day again. So now for, we have two of these. So what we do is I put one there and I put one there and I'll let that tree uh, get infected. Basically, you're infecting it with silkworms. The silkworms make string, and then you basically break the leaves just like this, and it drops string. And then we'll use the string to make a sieve, which then we'll take the sand, sieve the sand for minerals, and etc. Do a couple things like that. Um, we're gonna make some 
weapons here in a second. As soon as we can get a little bit more wood and stuff. Um, can I reach that? Yes. No. So let's jump that. And hopefully it doesn't break the bottom one. It didn't. Good. Now I can jump up here. Go back to there. Break that. Anything under here? No, nothing fell. I'm so used to my other game. I have um, in Refuge, I have a ma uh, magnetism ring. So everything just jumps to me. I don't have to go try to get anything. I miss that. <laughs> But um, so the sun's coming up, so we have plenty of wood right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple sticks. And we're going to make some plates. And let me see here. If I remember correctly, we need one of those. So we've got... A parts table we need a tool station and we need a stencil table we also are going to need a stencil chest so let's see here silkworm put you in there for right now we did get these additional books which are the tinker workshop books um, I don't need all the trees right now um, I think we're good let's go to our crafting journal so we got a lot of stuff that we can tra trade in we got our crook we get a bunch more um, bone meal we did get our silkworm so we're gonna get 16 apples now this game you also have to pay attention to your temperature your thirst and your hunger um, and your I think there's yeah your health there's hunger there's temperature there's thirst and I'm not sure what the one in the bottom left is with those little bubbles I think that might be magic or mana. I'm not completely positive, but we will find out. Um, okay, back to the quest book. Oh, and we can turn in our Tinker Workshop stuff. Oh, we we made a pattern chest and we got it. That was bad on our part. We jumped ahead and we wasted resources. Oh well. We will put it in there. And maybe we'll build another one later. Okay, so let's look at the quest mode. So we got that uh, now. Needs us to make. Well, let's see. Eat. Eat worms. I'm not eating worms yet. This is what we need to make. So our silk mesh for our gathering resources. So it wants us to make the stuff for a pickaxe. So let's put these parts down. We need the stencil table. And I think think it's the tool station so I think it goes boom boom uh, boom is it that one yep there we go we got it right so come here first we'll put all our stencils in there so we need one of these we need a binding and we need the rod okay then we come here and we can put that the rod thing there and you get your wooden tool rod we put oh i just noticed this is in the wrong spot hmm come here so will this work if i do it this way that there um the 
is it the right one? Yeah, that's right. And then we'll do that. So a little squabbly there. Um, I did this so we can um, store our patterns in our chest. So we'll get our, this is all going to be wood to start just because I don't have any stone or flint or anything right at this moment. So we got all our parts. We go to the, our part builder. We select the piece that we're doing. We put our parts in here. Now I can repair this with wood. So once I use it, I'll just come in here, put it there, add a piece of wood, and we would get a new um, pickaxe. And we're f quickly filling up our chest. So we're going to need a new crook too. So, and our tree is almost completely done. We'll hit it up in a second. Uh, quest book. So we got our patterns. We're going to get a wooden shovel once we do it. And manually detect. Oh, you suck. I hate it when it does that because I already built it. So now I have to waste the stuff again. Son of a... Mm. That's crap. So, more waste. It's technically not waste because I can use it to repair stuff. So now, now we get it. We get our shovel. Claim reward. Okay, yay. And I am grout. Now it wants us to make grout so we can start foraging well that's going to be a little while uh the next thing we're going to shoot for is our silk um for our silk tree but we are going to make a, another chest because we need a chest that's a little bigger than this one because We want to put all this stuff in here and not be completely overwhelmed with it. Okay, I don't need that book. I don't need that. That I'll probably do something with. These I don't need as well right now. Um, and I don't need the tinker books right this second um, I'll show you these real quick um, so this is introduction to tinkering it shows you basically talks about how to use it what, what you can do um, the different weapons all that kind of stuff um, that's pretty much it on that book and then this book shows you the different materials and the modifiers that you can do like a pickaxe these are the things you need for a pickaxe Shovel, hatchet, um, a matox, a sword. The sword's the next thing we're going to make as soon as we can get some stone or slate. Or flint, I mean. Different things through here. All of the different stuff as you go up. The different materials, what you can use. Um, can we actually use... I think we can use... Which are bone, bone meal, rod. Um, durably 200... We might actually be able to make a bone sword. It actually might not be too bad. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can make a bone sword. Because if we can make a bone sword, uh, we would need... Is it that pattern? Yeah, sword blade pattern. And we'll need the wide guard. We already have the handle, which I already have a handle made, so I'm not going to make another handle. Can I use that? No, it won't let me use that. Nope. Okay, so I can't use bones to make the sword, but can I use it to make the guard? Huh, no. Alright, what about bone meal? Nope. Okay, so I can't use those things to make a sword. It was a good try. 
let's leave half of our apples. Uh, let's leave more than half of our apples because we don't want to lose them. And we don't need these books now. Uh, the modifier book, I didn't finish showing you that. Uh, the modifier book basically goes through, shows you the different stuff, the different stuff you can use, and then how to make other modifiers um, and different metals and stuff. And then, like, if you want, if you got a diamond, you can add durability and mining increase levels. Emerald as more durability as well. Uh, redstone increases the mining speed. You can get um, the the moss adds auto repair and so on and so forth. There's a whole bunch of these. I mean, just a bunch. So we will get into those later. I'm not going to worry about those right now. Um, there is a rune, like a little rune thing out there. And there's another one that direction. I saw those a little bit ago. We will go explore those in a later episode. Right now, we're going to show you the string. So for this, as you break this, you can see string is dropping. And you can see it says leaves infected. If they weren't infected, it would have a percentage as it counted up. And we will do this whole tree. Now you should get silkworms as well with this uh, in addition to the string. So you can do more silk. Now the string is also what we're going to use to make dirt to start. Because we, we have no dirt. This is All there is is sand right now. So we will use our excess string um, to make dirt and the way we will do that is with a composter but we'll take it takes 25 string to do let me see if it if i chop it at the bottom does it take them all no this takes three okay did i get everything down here no i missed one way down here okay so i don't have any thing let's get this tree Hopefully we get some more saplings so I don't have to use the ones we have. Because you can also use saplings to compost into dirt. And we will do that eventually. Um, I probably won't get to it in this video. We're just going to get the sifter going and show you that. And then that will probably be the end. Ooh, we got an apple. That was good. I think we got a sapling too. One or two saplings already. There's a second one. We got a couple saplings. Good. This was a good tree. Okay. So we hit our stuff. Hit our stuff. Okay. Did we get everything? Uh, anything fall down deep? No. Okay. So if you notice too, and you get in the water, our temperature drops. So we have to be careful about getting cold. Excuse me, getting cold. Like our temperature is already 96, so we have to be careful because we can get hypothermia. Um, and we don't have any way to make heat right now other than going up here and standing by the candles. I think our heat might go up standing by the candles, or by the, the magma torches, does it? No, we're still going down. So that doesn't work. All right, so we're going to have to make some way to get warm. Um, so that's going to be something we'll have to really focus on here shortly. So um, I don't need any trees right now. And we can eat an apple. I'm going to eat two apples. Uh, and leave the rest there. So string. We'll need at least two silkworms. Okay, so the way to start our... Pull it up. The sifter. So we need a silk, silk mesh. Okay, so the way to do silk mesh... Why isn't... Hmm. There it is. 
the silk mesh is nine string but we need two of them for the recipe so we need two which we have two and then the next thing we need is some more wood first off because we're short on wood we need um, some sticks because we'll have two sticks there we're gonna have two slabs on each side with the string in the center and that makes our oak sieve and now with the oak sieve which I'm gonna put it in here because we're inside I trying to minimize our cold um, well what do we sieve you say well we have to sieve sand so that's where our shovel comes in and we will just start digging some sand show you this real quick and then we will call it an end of this video and we will next episode we will get into um, hopefully getting the materials to make some better tools and better weapons and all the like okay so that's pretty good right now I'm gonna put that in there and in there we'll also get into composting in the next come on and you are a small tree with all that bone meal that's Stinks. Terrible. Okay. So, I'm not going to waste any more bone meal. Now, for sieving, you literally take your sand and you just right click on the sieve and you will get stuff out of it. So, we will do a couple of these real quick. And you can see the stuff already going in my bar at the bottom there. We got crushed iron, which is good, crushed aluminum. And yellow um, yellorium dust so I don't know what all I have to let me see I think it'll say it here sand uh, so sand so give the list um, have this the drop list oh come on hmm pulverizer it doesn't really say what it drops I don't know how to look it up. Okay. Um, nope. I'm not sure. So we'll just have to see. I think that's another a new one up there. We've got a, a crystal. Good. That's good. We might be able to... Um, Hopefully we get enough stuff and we can build a pulverizer and just in a generator and just drop this stuff in there and let it grind. And then we don't have to worry about sitting here doing this over and over and over for this whole pile because this is boring or at least for video efforts. But for this, we got crushed tin, crushed aluminum, iron, the yellow aurium dust. We got some gold ore, some copper ore, some nickel ore, um, the crystal some lead ore and we're still going so all your ores are basically going to come from the sand uh, a lot a lot of them are going to come from the sand and I think if we get stone we can um I think we can actually get stone if we dig deep enough we'll get stone and then we can um also get uh we get cobblestone i think we can sift cobblestone and we can also sift um, dirt and we can sift uh, gravel are the big things that we can get um, but while we're doing this hit the quest line so we got our sit we got our silk mess we got our sieve we get 
dirt is a reward. So that's one of the rewards we get there. That also um, didn't open that up, but uh, storage, we had one. Okay, yeah, we did our chest, so we do get some 16 woods there. Try to clear all these up. We're going to need to make a better barrel in the next one. And then all the different chests, which we'll need a lot of ores and stuff for those. Um, the, the applied electronics, we'll get into that later. Um, power. There's nothing there right now. Age of machines. Um, yeah, here's our generators, our basic generators. We'll have to build a survival generator, etc. And work our way up through. So we're actually learning to Minecraft. We're almost 50% done with this whole first section. So we plan on hopefully finishing this in the next episode or two, maybe finishing all of those so we can get on to the other ones. So we will see how that goes. So we did get some cactus seeds as well, which will give us um, a couple different things we'll be able to get from cactuses, um, which will help us in the long run. I just want to see if this stack gives us anything else real quick before I leave. You can, I mean, 35 blocks went through pretty good. What did we get? We got a, uh, probably electro, electrical quartz or something. So there is the last piece. And we got a charged quartz. So that's good. Overall, that's pretty pretty good now I think we can actually do can we do a hammer for breaking these yes we can so one thing if we uh, let's see here I'll do the um let's do the tin put the tin into tin sand so if we put the tin sand down we take our hammer and it comes into tin dust now most of the time when you do this you'll actually get one to two more than what you start with and it's a good way to process it because once you get an oven you can start making um, more ores by breaking them down to that base metal um, because these make a dust block and that is one block of tin okay and that's pretty much how that works when you cook it so let's put Let's put all these in here for right now. And we'll throw the string over here. Um, so hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it was enlightening on how things are going and what we're doing. And we will have a couple more um, things we're going to do. But right here is our little world in the world. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Please leave your comments, your likes, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think. And we will see you in the next episode. Catch you later, guys. Bye.